Hi everyone, my name's Laura, and I'm stuck in the middle of a love relationship between the two most popular guys in school. Please like and subscribe to find out who will be by my side until the very end. Everyone, even my parents knew that I was dating Philip. He's handsome, kind-hearted, and has a great singing voice. Philip picked me up for school every day and never forgot to give me presents on special occasions. We were so famous as a long-term couple that everyone thought we would stick to each other forever, get married, and have kids together. Every girl in school envied me for having such a perfect boyfriend, but they didn't know that my eyes were focusing on a different boy, despite the fact that I'm standing next to Philip. In contrast to Philip, whose beauty shines like the sun, Louis is a really bad boy who loves to cause trouble and continuously skips classes. Louis may be a troublemaker, but just look at that handsome and wild face. Nobody could deny that he's attractive. And that attractive bad boy belongs to me. I blush when Louis blew me a kiss. He always knew how to make my heart skip a beat. Are you okay? <gasps> Your face is so red. Are you getting sunstroke or something? No, I'm fine. Just a little heated. So let's go up to the rooftop, okay? Ah, the rooftop, our secret dating place. The area where I sit and scroll through my phone while Philip confines in another guy. Yes, I was not the only one having an affair. Philip's lover was none other than my older brother, William. I just can't understand why we have so many differences, despite having the same mother. William is tall and smart, while I'm short and not very good at studying. He's the head of the student council, always at the top of exams, and a source of pride for parents and teachers. So, he's always afraid that the truth, he's a homosexual, will shatter all those good images of him. So, I reluctantly become a front to cover everyone's eyes. Everyone thought that the person Philip was dating was me, while in fact, he loved my older brother. Every time Philip takes me out on a date, in fact, he's asking me to lead him to William, just like what's happening now. Oh God, could you stop kissing in front of me? I'm so tired of watching you two lovebirds. Sorry, Laura, but you can just close your eyes if you're uncomfortable, can't you? <laughs> Don't tease her like that. We already owe her a lot. Yeah, remember last week when you two almost got caught hugging in the room by mom? Thank God. Then I was quick quitted and said you were just wrestling. If it wasn't for me, you would have been screwed. Don't forget the time when Philip bought me a new phone and mom thought it was for you. You're still using it now, right? Do you know how much effort I put into covering you too? And yet you're still being stingy with me, huh? All right, stop quarreling. William and I both know you're trying hard to help. I'll buy you some snacks later. Can you give us some space for now? Sure, whatever. Don't say it's as if I'm into watching you two lovebirds. I stormed off the rooftop and bumped into Louis on the stairs. Caught you! Oh, what are you doing in here? To give you this. Louis handed me a carton of strawberry milk, my favorite drink. He didn't seem to be in a good mood. Are you and Philip fighting? No. Why do you ask? I saw you two on the rooftop together. Now it's just you alone. Ah, we're not fighting anyway. It's just... Um, Philip needs some space. Philip doesn't treat you well at all. You deserve someone better. Like you? Louis didn't answer but grabbed my hand. What should I do now? I can't hold back my feelings anymore. I had a boyfriend, you know? So what? I can't break up with Philip. Then just don't. But you and I... I like you, and you like me too. That's enough. I don't want to make things difficult for you. I just want to make you happy. Are you sure? I thought you and Philip were best friends. We just play on the same football team. You're much more important to me than Philip. Louis was so sweet. How much does he love me to accept being the third wheel like that? So since then, we started our love relationship in secret. At first, it was quite fun. That sense of thrill when having an affair made me really excited. Sometimes, the four of us would sit together in the schoolyard. I leaned on Philip's shoulder while holding Louis's hand behind my back. I didn't feel guilty at all because I knew Philip and William were doing the same thing. I always thought the situation would last a long time, at least until my brother graduated. But things became more complicated. That day was Valentine's Day. So, William asked me to set up a date for him and Philip. 
when the three of us arrived at the rendezvous, I was left alone. I didn't want to be alone on this day, so I called Louis. What's up, Laura? I want to go on a date with you right now. I thought you were going out with Philip today, so I invited my friends over for a party at home already. I'm sorry. It's okay. I should have told you in advance. I sadly hung up the phone. What's the point of dating two people at once when no one can go out with me at this moment? Wait, a party at home? That sounds fun. I want to join them. I went straight to Louis's house, and it was the most extravagant party I had ever seen. There were so many people there, so I easily blended in. Everyone was having a great time and played hard. I didn't even know the names of more than 10 guests there. I quickly found Louis in the middle of the crowd. That's also when my smile faded. Who's the girl standing next to him? And who's the person he's holding hands with? Louis finally caught a glimpse of me and expressed so much <gasps> surprise. He let go of the girl's hand and pulled me to another spot. Why are you here? To witness you hooking up with someone else? You've got it all wrong. We're just normal friends. No normal opposite friends would hold hands and embrace each other like that. This is a party after all. We're just crossing the line a little bit. But I don't like it. Come on, Laura. You and Philip hold hands too and even embrace each other countless times. But I don't have any problems with that, right? That's different. How come it's different? Do you know how uncomfortable it is for me to see you with someone else? Today's Valentine's Day, and I can only let you go out in private with another guy. But now, I host a public party with my friends, and you say you don't like it? Don't you think you're asking too much of me? I couldn't agree anymore because I ran out of justifications. Louis was right. Maybe I was setting double standards for him. I felt very irritated then. Hey, you're here after all. Why don't you come in and party with us? Louis, actually, Philip and I aren't really dating. Don't kid around. The whole school knows you two have been together for years. I'm not kidding. The person Philip loves isn't me. It's William. What? Your older brother? Yes, I just pretended to be Philip's girlfriend to deceive others. This... I really didn't expect this. So, I consider Philip as my brother. It's normal for us to hold hands, right? Louis seemed confused and then suddenly hugged me. I'm sorry, I've misunderstood you for too long. It's okay. Can you not be too close to other girls from now on? Of course. After clarifying everything, Louis and I became closer and more deeply in love. Whenever we passed by each other in school, Louis would secretly give me a candy and some kinds of snacks that I liked. We tried to meet each other as much as possible. Sometimes under the stairs, in an empty classroom, or occasionally at a cafe far from school. Louis treated me very well, so I felt more and more guilty towards him. I felt myself to be a selfish person because I couldn't declare our love to the world. I was jealous of the girls around us. They could openly pursue him while I could only stand still and watch. Not only that, Philip and William have been arguing lately, making me extremely tired. How many times is this now? I've told you a million times that I don't like you hanging out with that little girl, Lily. We're bandmates. We just practiced together for the upcoming competition. You're being jealous for no reason, William. Don't you know the way you look at her makes me so furious? We'll sing romantic songs, okay? Shall we have to look at each other like enemies, huh? Stop it! I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be involved in this complicated relationship any longer. Can you two just stop? You have no idea about... I do. I know you're upset that you can't stop other girls from approaching Philip. And I'm upset that I can date the person I love. So... I have a solution for all of us. What is it? I'll declare to everyone that I broke up with Philip, and then you can come out, boom, it's perfectly done. No, mom will kill me. My image will be shattered if coming out as a homosexual, my fans will turn their backs on me. And what about me? Can't you guys be concerned about my feelings a little bit? They both look at each other and remain silent. It's clear that the answer was no. I fit up and go to find Louis, hoping he would support my decision. Why do you want to let the cat out of the bag at this moment? I feel guilty that we have to sneak around to date all along. It's okay. I understand. I'm not blaming you. But... Louis kissed my forehead and comforted me as gently as always. Just being with you like this makes my day. At that moment, 
I thought Louis was the best guy I had ever known. I tried to endure a few more months for him, but things only got worse. One day, while I was heading down to the canteen, I heard a rumor that Louis was dating Lily. The hot girl was Philip's bandmate. Of course, nobody believed it at first until someone asked her directly. Hey, are you and Louis dating? Yes, we are. Want to see some pictures of us together? I almost burst out laughing until I saw the pictures with my own eyes. They were so intimate to the point of taking a photo of them kissing. My mind went blank and I couldn't hold back my anger any longer. I stormed straight to Louis, yelling and questioning. What's going on between you and Lily? What are you talking about? Just calm down first. I saw the pictures of you two kissing. Damn, you got it all wrong. We were just playing truth or dare. I lost and reluctantly had to kiss her. I don't care. You're always close to other girls every day, and I can't take it anymore. I want to expose everything to the world right now. Are you sure about that? What about your brother? Do you want him to be shunned by everyone? Again and again. Why does everything always hit a dead end like this? I burst into tears. Do you really love me? Of course I love you. If not, why else would I endure so much unfairness for you? I could do anything for you. Just stop concerning about William. Let's declare a love for all to see, okay? No, we can't. Why not? You said you love me and would do anything for me, didn't you? No doubt, but we can't let everyone know about our relationship. I don't understand. I'm just protecting you, Laura. What will be in people's minds when they see you break up with Philip and then date me right after? I'm not afraid of that. But I'm afraid you'll get hurt. Louis tried to calm me down and help me leave it behind. But little did we know that a few days later rumors were spreading like wildfire that I was dating Louis behind Philip's back. Perhaps someone had caught us on a date and people started gossiping about me when I'm not present. The girls who used to admire and envy me turned their back on me and criticized me a lot. So I gradually became alienated. You know what? That alone was enough to make me collapse. What hurt me the most was that Louis was still flirting with Lily. Don't cry, Laura. I don't know what to do anymore. Everything will be okay. I'll tell them everything. Are you sure? I should have done this earlier, actually. William didn't want me to suffer anymore, so he decided to come out as homosexual. My parents were extremely shocked. My mom even had a heart attack. William and Philip had a big fight, and in the end, they broke up. You're really a coward. And you're selfish. You want to ruin my career or what? Is your singing career more important than our relationship? Damn right it is. Philip turned and walked away, leaving William alone. I felt sorry for my brother, but in the end, I was free to love the person I wanted. I eagerly went to find Louis to tell him that I didn't have to mm -hmm. pretend to date Philip anymore. Mm -hmm. So let's declare a love, okay? I want the whole school to know we belong together. This is too sudden. Can you wait a bit? I don't want to wait anymore. We've been secretly in love for so long. Not that long. Could it be that you're lying? Do you love me or not? How many times do I have to affirm my love for you until you believe it? I truly love you. So what about Lily? You love her too, right? I don't want to argue with you about that. If you're so close with Lily, then we're done. Can you stop asking for the impossible? Impossible? You can't do it, right? Hmm. <laughs> I realize we're not as compatible as we thought, and I'm totally tired of your continuous suspicion. Let's go our separate ways. Huh. Breaking up? I cuckled bitterly, even though my heart was torn apart. No, we're not breaking up. Don't be stubborn. We won't have a happy ending anyway. What I mean is, we've never officially been together, so it's not a breakup. Am I right? I bit my lip, raised my head, and boldly walked away before Louis saw me burst into tears. After all, I realized that it wasn't that he didn't love me, but he was afraid other girls would think he didn't love them. Both Louis and Philip wanted to retain the situationships. They didn't want to make it public. Only William and I were stubborn and didn't understand that bitter truth. Both of us eventually learned a painful lesson in love. How about you? Have you ever been struck in love, a relationship that couldn't be made public? Be brave and share in the comments below. Who knows, someone might be able to help you. Don't be like me, waiting until being hurt before having the courage to end it.